Howdy folks, welcome back to Sailing Slow Motion. So I just got back from taking the boat out where I did the paddle practice and sailing out there. It was a beautiful day. Um, when I got home I was editing the video and listening to it and I put my phone or put my camera into a waterproof case and I had no idea that that sound quality is that bad. So watch this video or don't. I mean it's it's pretty bad. So now I know not to bump it or move the camera around when it's in this waterproof case because it, it's so scratchy and loud and I apologize now but I'm going to go ahead and post this video um, really just for me and you can watch it but please don't unfollow me just because this video I, I have learned a valuable lesson for sure but anyway here it is enjoy howdy folks welcome back so just to let you know where I'm at yesterday I didn't take the boat but I did so now this is clear, um, made up this lanyard here so it's easy to tie the boom back. It doesn't take much effort at all. I'll just clip it on there and I can just leave that dangling. So whenever I'm getting somewhere that I need to lock that up, it's a, a simple procedure. I have my spare paddle tied off to the side there, the paddle that I'm going to use. I think I'll just find a way to keep that stored right here when I'm not using it. Um, I did get the seat lanyard like people were suggesting that's my pad so I have it set up now that it just kind of hangs there and should be able to see it pretty good from the back side let me walk over there and see oh yeah not too bad so anyone that's passing me on the race will know who they're passing or if I'm lucky enough to pass somebody they'll know who I was so um, I do like keeping the front hatch open also. I do need to put a lanyard on that so that doesn't go anywhere. Um, I'm not going to do that today because it's not really blowing too hard. And I'm not sure how much sailing I'm going to do. I'm really going out just to do a paddle. So, um, yeah, first time taking this thing out without a motor. The breeze is pushing out, so leaving the channel is going to be easy. The issue is going to be coming back. It is low tide right now, like in low tide in seven minutes. So I do want to see where I'm going to touch bottom if I do touch bottom, cutting out of the flat area. So um, let's see if I get stuck. All right, so we're just now leaving the dock, like literally right still inside the dock. And um, it seems to paddle. <laughs> I mean, not great. I got the wind pushed me back, so going back is easy. I think going forward is going to be a real problem. I'll be getting back into the slope. Yeah, so I just left from there. So I have not gone far, obviously. Let's see about this thing to move forward. The bench is very comfortable. Like it's with that pad on there. And it doesn't slide around. So I think the idea here is just to, you know, keep it slow, stay calm, you know, don't rush anything. Just kind of let it happen. The boat does glide really nice though. I mean, it's not fast to glide, but I mean, it's, it moves forward on its own. Somebody commented on one of the videos suggesting lee boards. And I think I might do that. Lee boards. I think I could do it off of the, the ramps here, possibly. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to figure out what I'm doing. And I think the one that I have is keeping the rudder straight. I wonder if I can do some extensions on the pedals down here. I have two things happening. One is I'm wanting to paddle too fast and I'm getting a lot of water splashed on me for one and that's going to be cold on cold days and two I'm going to get tired so I think my plan is to do a stroke just kind of let the water drip off let my body relax so do another stroke and I am going 2.3 miles an hour I've been doing this for a while so I've slowed down for my initial push but yeah, 2.3 miles an hour, not bad for a channel. As this is a learning experience today, I 
found out that I'm currently being recorded. I learned that the tiller, oh, well, what I'm using is these little marks. There's the barcode on the PVC, and there's a line holder right there. And the center of the PVC barcode lined up with the edge of the rope holder. It's not a cleat. So today is a learning experience, and so far pretty enjoyable one. But with the tiller, I found that there's a barcode on the PVC, and it lines up with a rope holder. And if I move it just a little bit, I get steerage. And back to the center of the barcode is straight. So if I have to make a turn, I can just use the tiller and put it right back to straight. And right now, if I do two strokes, I get a little bit of movement on each side. One stroke gives me, if I alternate, gives me a pretty straight pattern. Got a little wind push right there. That yeah, seems to be doing pretty good. Let's see what the wake does. It's minor. I'm really nervous about doing the checkpoints on the race. So I want to get as much paddling in as I can, like this experience right here. Like doing it in the calm weather is great. Tomorrow there's a big storm coming. I would like to get out and just see how the boat does with lots of wind beating it up and a little bit more action in the water. And the channel, paddling's easy just because there's no, no real currents happening. It's at low tide right now, so it's like it's at slack. But going into the checkpoints, that's my biggest fear right now. And then leaving checkpoint two. So leaving checkpoint two, there's the spot that's called the Dragon's Tooth, I guess. At least I heard from somebody else. And it's known for shredding the bottom of boats. And if you look at Navionics, there's like 15, it says shipwrecks, I'm guessing small boats because that water's so shallow. <sighs> yeah, leaving checkpoint two is going to be... A doozy. I'm not too worried about going into Stump Pass. Stump Pass looks scary on some of the videos, but I think I've figured it out by now after seeing enough people do it. You know, going around to the south side of it, coming up along the beach, and then just avoiding that sandbar when you round the corner. So I think checkpoint one is going to be okay. Checkpoint two, we'll see. <laughs> checkpoint three is, I think that one's going to be fine too. So really, the whole race, checkpoint two, and then. Now, uh, Florida Bay, which I'm going to go around because I draft so much. At least that's the plan right now. And then everything else, I should be on the outside. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to do outside the whole way. Well, really, it's weather dependent. So, we'll see. I just made it out of the channel. I um, averaged two miles per hour, exactly, for the mile that it took to get out. I feel good. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't difficult at all. Just doing a stroke and then a rest. Uh, stop and talk to FWC back there. He's a pretty cool guy. He was just asking about the race. Well, asking about the boat, and I was telling him about the race. Uh, I'm about to get out of this channel. I've got a pontoon boat coming up behind me. I'm going to cut across into the sawgrass area. It should be deep enough. We'll see. Yeah, so I'm, I'm scraping the bottom right now. Uh, which is okay, you know, I was kind of expecting that to happen. And high tides will slowly work its way in over the next little bit. And yeah, I'm just going to hang out, probably get something to eat. Okay, we didn't stay grounded for very long, we're, we're floating off a bit. But I don't know if you can see, it's, it's just right underneath us, but yeah, enough to float, and that's all that's important, right? So the goal is just to go out. The wind is really calm, and the water is really calm. So I'm not sure how fast we'll be able to get going today. Maybe the wind will pick up. Now, it is coming from behind and kind of giving us a little push. So I'll open up sails here and see if we can scoot out of here. We found a little bit of wind out here. At least a, a light breeze pushing us at four knots. It's pretty nice. The water is glass. It's like we're on a lake, not the Gulf of Mexico. 
come out here, tool around for a little bit. Uh, there's a big storm coming tomorrow. That's that's what I'm excited for. My camera is in a waterproof case, so I heard that even though these cameras are waterproof, you shouldn't really have them in salt water. It's still a lot of corrosion. So it's inside this plastic case. So if I sound funny, I won't notice until I get home and play this back in here. But since it is a waterproof case, I'm going to do the cliche look at my hull under the water shot. <laughs> minutes now holding steady at five knots you can see this it is so calm out here paying attention there and uh, came off course but you can see that's the the speed I've been holding this steady the whole time so. with this section of water right here it's the channel runs pretty far out and then cuts over and it shows all this at about three foot and I'm guessing that's what it is probably three foot in this whole this whole bay that you can see from that little island over there and around. But low tide wasn't that long ago, less than an hour ago. And we can scoot through here just fine. That's good to know. If the race was like this every day, oh my gosh, everybody would be doing the race. <laughs> Look at this, eight knots, <laughs> and there's no wind out here. It's so calm. That's crazy. I'm going to have to get a lanyard for myself because sitting up here is really comfortable. I think it's more comfortable sitting up on my little bench seat than it is sitting down inside there. Uh, where the seat is mounted. Uh, but even though it's really calm out here, I can see if there was just the slightest bit of turbulence in the water, this could be a risky seat to be sitting on. I'd hate to fall off and have the boat under sail just launching away from me. That'd be a, a depressing sight, and I hope I never see that. Um, so I'm going to get a tether for myself so I can be laying here to the boat as well in case I do come off. I can at least muscle myself back up to the boat once it spins into the wind. So we just had an issue where the, the main, the cord that runs through the mast, came out up to about the second batten. So I lowered the sail down and, and put it back in that track, but hopefully it's just that that rope is so old and it's like starting to flatten out and it doesn't do that with the new sail because that was uh, that was something but it was easy to fix which was good so i moved locations off to the, the side here sitting on the, the ramp and it's steering with the tiller this is pretty comfortable too so i like i like these upgrades everything seems to be working out pretty good I'm just playing around out here and tacking around, just seeing how the boat handles, what the responsiveness is of it, and then uh, just, you know, getting the feel of the boat. But it is nice out here. It's a beautiful day. The weather is about 70 degrees. There's a slight breeze that's pushing this boat along. Water's pretty calm still. I am starting to see some white caps out there, so it's starting to pick up a little bit. But as of right now, it's still pretty comfortable.
you can see, they're good little ones. time I was out here <laughs> sailing I thought where I needed to go was by that yellow building right there and it's not this is an island point that sticks out I got to go out and get tucked in there but I got to run right on the edge of the wind here like it's <laughs> so but I can do it it's it's sailing along I'm actually going at three knots so I can't complain about that at all but so I just got to hold this I, I am a little drift where leeboards would be nice to prevent that because uh, I got the water pushing me and the wind pushing me to my right but I'll clear this point over here without an issue as long as I just keep focusing on the trees up there and, and then make that turn but yeah the whole time I was out here playing around as I was getting pushed over I was like oh no big deal because I'm making seven knots headed towards that yellow building and that's that's just not where I need to go Okay, so you see this yellow building right here that we're about to pass? So the channel that I want to go in is right next to it. I'm coming out into this open bay area so I can drop the sail, uh, the main, and then I'll just use the jib to get in there. But um, yeah, so that building is that looks exactly the same as that one that was back there that I was staring at the whole time. So that's why I was confused. Okay, so I like that method, taking the main down out here and tying it off so it's out of my way and I just have the jib up which is pushing us along at two knots and once I run out of juice with the wind I will start paddling but as of right now I'm just going to relax watch the birds in the water and just think about the day it was awesome thanks for going with me it was a fun time out on the water and I'll be out here again tomorrow during that storm uh, I'll probably just come out into this bay area, or I might even just stay in the channel. I just want to see how my cold weather gear holds up in the rain and in the, you know, that, that crappy weather. So, see you tomorrow.